So we start with a new tutorial for quick learners. I'm going to create a new composition. So we click the new composition icon and we choose to make it 640 by 480. Duration is 10 seconds in this case. Press OK and I move down here in the composition panel and I do a right click. I open the new menu and I choose solid. So I'm going to create a new solid and I'm setting the size to 100 by 100 pixels. And then I press OK. There we go. We have a square in the middle of the stage. Next thing I want to do is to take the text tool on top here and by clicking on the stage, I'm going to type any placeholder. In this case, I will just type text. Next thing I want to do now is to open the text properties here. Open the property called text. And inside there is a property called source text. I alternately click source text in order to trigger an expression. And in the expression, I will just type time. When I click outside, you can see that the time is in the composition and has replaced the placeholder text that I placed before. Interesting to note that if I'm on the second two, you see number two here and number two in the time code as well. Whereas where I move one frame backward, you will see 124 here in the time code because it's based on 25 frames per second, but on the stage we see 1.96 because it's basically using from 1 to 100. Next thing we want to do is to change the width of the square as we move on with the time. So what we need to do is to change the scale. So I select the layer underneath, tap the letter S for scale, and then create an expression just by alternate clicking the stopwatch one more time. And the expression that I'm going to write here, it's very simple, is an array of 0 and 1 is what normally software use for x and y for the axis x and y uh, separated by a comma i will add the value for one and i will add a simple expression here into round brackets and the expression is value multiplied by time when i click outside you see that at second zero, my square is invisible, but as I play the video, the square stretch and increase size. There you go.